graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can create a sort of mountain range design using the polygon tool or custom shape tool I guess you could call it and patterns. I'm using Photoshop CC 2014 so first thing to do is just go over to the custom shape tool well, I say this custom shape tool but the polygon tool that's the key one here of course you could use custom shape tool if you've actually got a custom shape that's a triangle so next thing to do just click on the surface and I'm just going to set a width of 600 use a shape option I don't want to use the pixel option I want it as a shape a vector shape because I want to remove the background so now click OK so I've got this design now here it's a vector design vector layer you can just see over here it's a layer so I can remove the background but first what I'm going to do because I want it as a mountain range so I'm just going to rotate that around hold the shift down so you actually get it nicely at a certain angle straight up click OK next thing to do I'm just going to remove the background now so no background because what I want to do is define a pattern I want to use it in the random fill option of the edit fill command before I do that I'm just going to go to a layer layer style and I want to add a gradient to that so I've got that default there I don't want that one I want to actually select that now if you can't see that gradient you just quickly can reset the gradients just reset the gradients that one is in the basic set of gradients now you could of course just use that one there as well but I'm just going to use that one so I can change things. what I want is the dark part of the bit at the top so I can set that of course I can set the color and everything in here I'm just going to add some transparency as well so I'm just going to keep that black I'm just going to change that to zero so it's actually just fades away at the bottom click OK now you'll see that the unfortunately the orange comes back the original shape now I don't want that so I'm just going to go up to the blending options and I want to change the fill opacity and I'm just going to reduce that down so now it's just a faded design so the fill opacity is gone so right now I'm just going to slightly increase that because I want it the full length and maybe make it a bit wider as well of course it's still a, a vector design I can vary it quite easily now select the marquee tool I'm just going to select that mountain one mountain range select that and go to edit define pattern click OK remember it's pattern 113 in this of course it, with you it could be pattern one two three or four whatever now just going to remove that so I'm just going to put it back to the basic empty document and now I can just go to edit fill pattern and go down because these ones are test ones I created I don't want to select those so I'm just going to select pattern 113 now you can't actually see the pattern option pattern option there it should be on so you might have foreground color that's default so pattern there and you want descriptive patterns to be clicked there click OK now with CC 2014 you actually get a dialogue which is quite a nice feature of this so if you're actually using very early versions of Photoshop you won't see this option at all so completely uh, no use whatsoever you can change your density scale factor maximum scale factor so you can increase make it much bigger and just see now the preview isn't always effective depends really on the size of the document size of the actual item you're using so it's a sort of rough guide it won't be exact you can modify the color as well you can actually make that all nice random colors if you want that sort of thing modify the brightness you can make it all the same so or you can modify it make it more intense now you can also rotate the pattern which is quite nice if you want to create a sort of scratchy sort of uh, texture design really great for texture design so but I'm not going to go for that so I'm just going to deselect that and click OK and there you have quick mountain range graduated design of course you could use brushes as well you could just obviously just apply dabs all the way through but it's just nice to basically randomize it and it just and you could of course apply apply it again and again and again to create uh, more unusual mountain range designs i hope you found this of interest 